Right, what is going on everybody? Welcome to another Python Raspberry Pi robotics tutorial video. In this video, I'm just going to show you guys where I am with my uh, RC car now. As you can see, we've got uh, what looks to be a video feed, and it sure is a video feed. I added the Raspberry Pi camera module to my car, and I have that streaming uh, the data to my PC. Now, the only problem is buffering. Um, there is a bit of a lag to get back to the PC, anything between like one and three seconds about. And this is just due to probably a lot of things. Uh, the most important thing is just the fact that we're working with a Raspberry Pi. We're also working with a little cheap Edimax Wi-Fi, so we're probably paying a little bit of a tax just sending the data back even though we are in network. And the other thing is, um, well, the main I think the main reason, though, is just the fact that it's a Raspberry Pi. Okay, so we've got the Raspberry Pi. We've got the camera module in there. We've also got a distance sensor in there. And we've got all the GPIO pins that are doing things as well. So there's a lot of things that are going on that is plugged in at the moment. And so I think that just gives us a bit of a lag. The other thing that I've noticed is once we start adding, like right now the video feed's okay. We're not noticing anything too major yet. But when we start adding and working with this script, I'll run our autonomous script here. Um, I think you'll notice that um, the camera might even go out. <laughs> we might actually drop power. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and see, because our power supply is actually uh, a thousand milliamps, so I mean, there's no problem uh, with the power supply as far as like rating is concerned. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, change directory into robotics, and the file that we want to run is robot6.py just to see. So we'll do sudo python robot6.py, and we'll let this run. Uh, I believe it starts immediately, so you can even see that it has quite a delay. I think it's actually running too, even too fast for this script, actually. I just put new batteries in, and it appears that it goes a lot faster than it did before with no batteries. I hear it banging around in the kitchen. We are definitely hitting things. Um, I'll show you guys where I put the camera. It's actually in a pretty safe spot, but the distance sensor is not, and I wonder if it's hitting the distance sensor. Um, but I think the first thing that we'd want to do is... <laughs> oh, oh, it's going to make a run for it, apparently. I don't know. Man, these new batteries are powerful. I've never seen this thing be so uh, so strong. Normally, it doesn't run very well. Man, she needs to stop right. <laughs> stop. I forgot how long we made this script, but uh, there it. Maybe it's done. I don't know. There, it finally ended. Oh man. So anyway, yeah. There's a little bit of a delay there now. Uh, one thing we probably ought to do: pseudo nano. Um, robot6.py because that was getting way too close and I think like I said I just put brand new batteries in so I have never even seen it pivot that well normally when we run the pivot command um, it very slowly pivots because it's underpowered uh, that was some serious pivoting I am interested to see it in person actually um, so here we go it looks like we might actually drop our camera pretty pretty soon it, once it starts doing that like gray screen anyway I want to get to our distance here. I forget where, where we have, yeah, if current distance is less than 20, um, then we want to run reverse. But I thought we had a longer, um, that's all commented out. So I think what we're running is actually autonomy. And then we run the the check front command. So or the check front uh, functions. Let me find check front. There, I think this is check front. Right. Okay. So instead of 15, we really need to make a uh, single variable so we're not hard coding all of this. If distance is greater than, we're gonna do. I guess we'll do 25 just so it actually does something. Uh, 25, 25, 25. All right, hopefully we don't hear so many crashes. I heard quite a few bumps in the kitchen there. And actually, I probably should check the distance sensor and make sure that it's uh, pointing. So the distance sensor sits above, so if it hits something, the distance sensor would point up. So let me go make sure that's OK. Oh, OK, so it was actually aiming down a little bit, but uh, probably not enough to influence anything major. But definitely uh, something that happened. 
So now it's definitely hitting on the back end. It looks like possibly hit on the front end there, but we're definitely hitting on the back because it, it reverses to the back really quickly. We might make a run for, from the kitchen here in a minute. It's fighting the oven at the moment. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, as this is running, I just want to explain some of the things that I did uh, with the kit that I got from SaneSmart. The camera module actually fits inside the front. Like, there's that front piece, and it's got a circle. I'm not really sure what the whole cutout circle was originally intended for, but it actually fits the Raspberry Pi camera module perfectly. And so you can fit the, the camera module in there, and then the lens just barely pokes through. Now there's no good way to mount the camera module there, so I just used electrical tape and just literally taped it there. Um, but as far as the lens hole is concerned, that was perfect. So uh, again, I'm not really sure what it was intended for, but it worked out really well. So I'll show you guys at the end of that after this is done with its run. Hearing a lot less crashes, uh, we do definitely want to put a uh, rear distance sensor in this, but otherwise uh, this is doing pretty good. Um, I hear it hitting on the back, but it doesn't appear to be hitting on the front. You can even see the camera gets out a second whenever it hits in the back. But anyway, not too bad. So let me go grab it, and I will show you guys uh, what we've got going on at the moment. Okay, so this is where what we have now. So this is our power supply. This is the distance sensor. So obviously this is a little um, a weak point for this car. <laughs> Also, we have all these cables out here. It'd be nice to stuff everything pretty much in there, but maybe we'll get to that eventually. But then the camera module, I'm not sure how well you can see, but it's actually this poking through right there. Um, so the lens is able to stick through, and you can see the, the LED part of uh, the camera uh, on. Anyway, so it's actually um, doing pretty well in there. It's, I think it would be pretty hard to get it, especially because the wheels act like a bumper, but I'm thinking of adding like two little rubber pieces on the front there just to make sure that it doesn't get you know absolutely destroyed um, at some point by hitting like a corner or something like that I could foresee it getting hit pretty good so anyway that's what um, we have at the moment for our car I'm not really sure what else to do with it besides put on a distance sensor for the rear and so maybe I'll do that and then show you guys the results of that um, but that's about it um, so anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.